What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification game for hitting the like button. And if you didn't even start yet, y'all have been ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. I'm going to start listening to y'all more. <laughs> I'm going to start listening to y'all more. Man, real quick, hold on. Before, um, you know, before I continue, shout out to y'all, y'all, the ghost. If you have not already, please make sure you add me. On all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all the information is in the description. All the links are in the about page. Y'all go ahead and click away. I had somebody send me the original video on TikTok. That original video has been now deleted or privated. I don't know what happened. Excuse me. But I, I somebody sent me the video. It was a video of her right here. I think this is just a stitch, though. A video of her. She was crying, making cupcakes and all the other dumbass nonsense. And I responded back. I'm like, yo, why do you want me to make a video about this? Like, I, I made videos about single mothers crying about not whatever, you know, stuff that they're going through a lot. And so they was going back and forth. I'm like, Brian, going to do a video on this. And then that same person sent me two more videos of the update. Apparently, it gets crazy. The girl has been, I mean, I guess, capital line out the ass. We about to hear what's going on. Her ex husband. This is his stitch. And then she responds to the ex husband. Now I responded back to the guy who, um, to, to the guy that sent me the video. I said, "Yo, bro, my bad. I apologize. I should have, I should have did the first one. <laughs> what you told me, told me to do it, man. But let, let's get into it, y'all." Uh, being a single mom is making your own birthday cake on your birthday so that your babies can feel happy they are singing to you. So let, let's get into it, y'all. So I've been sent this video a lot over the last few days. Um, people asking my thoughts and my comments on it. And before anyone says, oh, you don't know her situation or, you know, you don't know what she's going through. Well, I do. Cause I lived it. Um, I'm her ex-husband and um, right now I have full custody of our kids. This is our parent agreement, as you can see. Uh, you heard what he said? He has full custody of the kids. Let's keep going. I have all weekdays and weekends, time sharing with the kids, all at holiday academic breaks. And for her to get any rights back to the kids, these are the things that she needs to do. And yes, child support, she owes that. It's up to over $21,000. So she's a mother and doesn't pay child support. Oh, she was locked up too. She got a mugshot. Hold on. Hillsborough County. Where is that at? That county sounds familiar. Is that Florida? Hillsborough County. I I'm not too sure. Y'all put it in the comment section. Oh, y'all, y'all know I'm horrible with geography. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I am horrible. Uh hold on, hold on. Yeah, she got she got locked up too. That's crazy. What she got locked up for, bro? She was then arrested for check fraud, and during that hearing, it turned out that it was found that she stole almost a million dollars from another guy. And also, she faked cancer in the past. These are scans that she would send and post on her page uh, before. So, you know, to sum it up, you know, this person, for people that follow her or giving her praise and showing, telling her how strong and how, you know, amazing she's doing, uh, well, she's really not a full-time mom. Um, she barely has her kids. Uh, she goes out all the time, um, and she doesn't even have a job even, so she uh, just really not someone that other single moms should really be looking towards as for inspiration or anything like that. Uh, there are a lot of, you know, hardworking single moms out there and a lot of respect to them. All I just want to say is she just isn't one of them, um, so... Hopefully everyone uh, can see this video and know, you know, who she really is. Peace. Like, whatever you're saying about me on the internet. Okay, so before before we get into her response, y'all, listen, and I, I don't know, maybe he's lying, maybe he's telling the truth. I don't know. I wasn't in a damn house when they was when they was married, wasn't going through the courts while they was going through the proceeding for the divorce. I don't know what's going on. He, she's made a video, he responded, and now she's about to respond. So towards the end, we're, we got to kind of find some in the middle <laughs> as far as what what the hell is going on so what he did show was proof that he first of all has full custody of the kids nights and weekends which means she only probably gets them either supervised visits 
or she gets them on her birthday. Uh, maybe they split certain holidays here and there, a kid's birthday here, a kid's birthday there, whatever the case may be. Uh, we don't know, but what we do know is he has full and complete custody of the kids. What we do know is that she was arrested. He said he for for cashing a check for a million dollars. Ma'am, you can't be that stupid. Because you know, matter of fact, let me let me play her response now. I was about to say what I got to say, but never mind. Let's let's get straight to her response. Like whatever you're saying about me on the internet, but uh, there are other women that have filed restraining orders against him, and if anyone took the time to go look the, look him up as well. That's what you would see. Instead, you see everything you've looked me up, which is essentially coming from one man who is out to destroy my life. That is in the nature of being a Scientologist. That is what they do. And if you know anything about them, you would know that. But what is going on is not right. Me getting death threats when I stay home with my kids every day is not right. Because a man that I left will always try to destroy my life. Forever. I put my face like at the top so I can. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before before she switches gears, she said that she has her kids every day. He's saying he has full custody. So what's going on? Because if he has full custody, ma'am, how are you seeing your kids, quote unquote, every single day unless you FaceTime them? Let Let's keep going. So apparently, she got some type of a uh, court document here. Let me remind, remind us a little bit. But she got some type of um some type of documents here. Let's see, let's see what this is it. Forever. I put my face like at the top so I can block out the girl's personal information. But this is another girl that put a restraining order against him, like I think a couple of years before we got married for chasing her around the table with a knife. It Hold on. A few years prior to you getting married. Do you know about this prior to the marriage? How about this restraining order? Because if you knew about it and you still decided to marry him, let alone get in a relationship with him, ma'am, this, this 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 makes no sense why you're posting this, but let's keep going. He did end up getting, like after they went to court, it ended up getting declined because she did not have a lawyer and he did and he ended up winning, um, which is typically how he wins everything is the girls that he gets are young girls he's older gets young girls and then he has way more money and is able to end up destroying them in court i got arrested um i cashed a check out of our out of my account to open a new private account of my own and i cashed a check to put it in there and before the check cleared it bounced that's what exactly what happened i got my case closed and I, I don't know what else to say about that. I mean, I, I made a stupid mistake. This is him on May 7th. Ma'am, you got the case closed. You, it, did, did it close because they arrested you? I'm, I'm not... Okay, so let, let, let's read these screenshots, man, because now, now I'm getting aggravated. I don't know what's going on. She's not making sense. He made perfect sense. She made this long-ass video. His video is two minutes. This we not even halfway done, so this probably video probably four or five minutes. Um... This says, so Ponte Verda is too far to get from Monday morning, uh, dot, 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 four hours. So would have to leave by 5 a.m. to even make it to work on time. Somebody replies, gotcha. Then says, what about Disney Springs? Stay at a resort and just do pool and restaurants. I know you mentioned and have mentioned Disney Springs a lot. Somebody says, no, I don't. I can't see because she's blocking. Uh, I'd rather stay. I'm assuming that says home. They would say, okay, dot, dot, dot. Uh, let's just stay home. Yeah, home. Uh, let's just stay home. We will, I'm assuming that says do things here. Download the hotels.com app to look at this great hotel in Clearwater. Oh, somebody, I guess you sent something. Okay, let, let, let's, let's see what these screenshots is. Ma'am, you're not making no sense to me. 17th, asking to take me on a trip with him. Um, so I just want to point out that like, and then I say, no, I don't want to go on a trip. I'd rather just stay here and do things because I don't want to be trapped on a vacation with him. This is a person that's also on the internet. You guys like aren't paying attention to the facts of like what is actually happening. You're seeing documents that he put on the internet and that you can Google them. You cannot Google them. Those are closed documents inside of a marriage with children. So you cannot Google them. I'm going to play a little bit of a voicemail that was left to me um, by Andrew and the things that he was saying to um, one of my daughters. Um, 
It was at 11.30 at night, so I was sleeping, and I did not answer. Um, so he left a message, and this is what it is. If you can imagine, as a mother, that was the hardest thing. These are things, little things, that he's continued to do the whole entire time. He has tried to manipulate my children, my, even me, everyone around me. This is what we're dealing with and working with. I have tried to reason with him off the app and say, stop doing this. I don't want to have to be on here defending myself or going after you in any way. I don't want to do that. I'm begging you to stop. I've asked everyone. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like he was doing that. What, what, from what I gathered, and I couldn't really hear too much because the audio was very, very bad. But from what I can understand, it sounded like a little girl was asking when her daddy was coming home, and the dad was trying to say, "Hey, listen, I can't because mommy and daddy is not in a good place right now." I, I, I again, I, ma'am, you just reaching for for whatever you're reaching for here. Honestly, honestly. Let, let's hurry up and finish this so I can give my, my last little whatever opinion. Everyone to stop sending him hate. I've tried my absolute best to end this with him, and it's not happening. At this point, I'm getting a lawyer. I'm going to not make another post after this. Even if he continues to harass me on the internet, I'm not going to say anything else. I'm getting a lawyer about him doing this, and I'm also going to get a lawyer, and I'm coming back for my girls. I'm not scared of him anymore, and I'm not going to keep allowing this to happen. Ma'am, so a TikTok post made you want to wake up and get your daughters and get a lawyer? Why you ain't do this before? Bro, this this is this is what I this is what I've been talking about. And and again, not to first of all, not to go off topic, number one, and not to bring race into it, but this is the reason why I tell y'all people love talking about, oh, get you a white man because it's better and this and that third, bro. There is trash in everything you can think of in race, in religion, and politics and uh, classes, whatever you want to call it, y'all, there is trash every goddamn where. So, now we're done with that. Now let's get back on topic. Again, I'm not fully understanding her. I understood everything he said. It's, it's amazing how he said within, within a, 120 seconds, he was able to sum everything up that needed to be summed up. And in four minutes, all I heard was a whole bunch of crap being compiled into one. She talked about what? Oh, well, he was, uh, let me pause it, because I, I want to talk about this, too. Um, what, what was I saying? Yeah, so she she was talking about how, oh, he had a restraining order set against them, but then the restraining order was thrown out. So that means he doesn't have a restraining order, ma'am. The woman uh, asked for or, uh, you know, tried to apply for a restraining order, and it was thrown out because she said, because he, she didn't have a lawyer. In my opinion, I believe it was thrown out probably because they didn't have enough evidence to put anything against the man. Maybe the woman that talked about, oh, he chased me around the table with a knife. Maybe she was lying. Maybe she was telling the truth and maybe she didn't have enough money for the lawyer. But ma'am, I would imagine even if, even if you were to get a, the temporary restraining order, that would have been grounds enough for uh, attempted assault with a deadly weapon to get him arrested. So where's his mugshot? Why you didn't post his mugshot? She talked about the check. Oh, well, I took a check and I tried to deposit it into a private account. Uh, so that was my mistake. The check bounced and blah, 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 blah. What are you talking about? Did you commit fraud? Yes or no? I've I've deposited checks before in my account that bounced all the time. And I haven't been arrested. It happens. Sometimes people write checks by accident and there's not enough money in the account or whatever the case may be. Those types of things happen. Checks bounce all the time. I've deposited so many checks in my account, y'all. It's not even funny. Some bounced, some cleared, some was pending, whatever the case may be. And I never was arrested for fraud like you were. So I'm believing what your husband said again, talking about the fraud. You damn over here depositing a million dollar check, which was which would have raised a huge flag in any bank system. 
Like, yo, listen, you're not making these type of money moves. So why all of a sudden you got a million dollar check now? What's going on? Let's open the case and figure out what the hell's happening. All of that, you know, again, I, I just wanted to talk about the, the fraud case because we have your mugshot, man. Why you ain't post his mugshot? You are crazy. You mean to tell me I have a knife, I'm chasing somebody around the table, and I don't get arrested? Then she brought up uh, Scientology. Oh, he's a Scientologist. That's the reason why nothing happens because of blah, 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 blah. Listen, I'm not here to talk about anyone's. Uh, is Scientology a religion? I don't even know. Uh, religion or beliefs or whatever y'all want. I don't, I'm not even sure what it's called. Uh, but whatever that category is, I'm not here to talk about any of that. But I'm damn sure not going to say, hey, you doing Scientology, you being a Christian, you being a whatever, whatever, you being a Republican. That's the reason why you do ABC. No, I'm not doing that. That's stupid. That's childish to me. Ma'am, again, you are pulling for straws, reaching hard as hell for any damn thing. And wasn't able to damn fully justify that. Made me think to myself and said, damn, maybe she got a point. Maybe maybe he lying. Maybe she, you know, nothing. To add salt to the wound, you ended it by saying what? Oh, I'm going to get a lawyer so I can get my daughters back. And I'm going to take them to court for, I'm assuming, defamation or whatever. I don't know what you're going to take them to, what else you're going to take them to court for. But do y'all notice the string of lies? She says she sees her child every single day. I'm assuming she meant virtually. <laughs> because, again, you're not going to tell me, oh, I see my children every day. I see my child every day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't see my child. Da, 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 da. And then end the video by saying, oh, I'm going to get a lawyer so I can get my daughters. So you don't have full custody of your kids. I get headaches, man. <laughs> I get headaches by listening to people, man, and, and 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 their nonsense. Shout out to this brother. I believe his name is Andrew. Shout out to this brother, sir. Honestly, I believe you over her. I honestly do. Um, I think what she did was she got caught up in in lies and BS, trying to flaunt and and, and put on and stunt for them TikTok, Instagram, etc. And this is the reason why I don't do these, you know, these baby mama single mom uh, profiles and channels. I don't support any of that because we don't know the full story. And if it's up to her, that woman, they're going to lie about. It. Over here making a stupid ass video talking about what, what, what was the video? No, hold on, let, let me see. Uh, let me see what the title was of the other damn video was. Being a single mom is making your own birthday cake on your birthday so that your babies can feel happy. They are single to you. You're not a single mom. You don't even have custody of your goddamn children. Talk about you a single mom. What did her ex-husband say? Yo, she was out here living wild and free, doing free to do whatever she wanted to do. And, and she's still doing that, just that. She over here crying for what? Ma'am, you get one day out, out of every two, assuming, I don't know, uh, usually for the most part, depending on what state you're in. In Florida, for the most part, if you have full custody, if the woman has full custody, the man can get the child every other weekend. In some cases, they can get every weekend, but for the most part, it's every other weekend. I'm going to take a chance and take a shot in the dark and say she probably got her kids every other weekend, certain holidays, her birthday, and stuff like that. So if that's honestly and truthfully the case, ma'am, out of 365 days, I'll give you 50 days. And that's me being nice. That's me being nice. 50 days out the damn year. Matter of fact, I'll double it and say 100. Screw it. A hundred days out of the year. That's only a third of the day. Why are you complaining over here crying, talking about you got to make birthday cakes? No. It's the reason why I don't support uh, these baby mama ass channels. This is the reason why I, I don't be running around here being all in their comments. Like, it's going to be okay, queen, and all this, that. No, we don't know the full goddamn story. She, again, her being a goddamn, not really a convict, because we don't know if, she, if they got her for felony charges. But, I mean, because grand larceny is what? Uh, larceny, I believe, is seven fifty or something like that. Seven, I'm sorry, seven five hundred. I think grand larceny is. Uh, I, I gotta look this up. I, I'm not even sure. So let me not exclude that. Never mind. Never mind. Um, but yeah, so I I don't know. Certain with certain larceny charges and stuff like that and frauds, it's up to like a hundred thousand, then five hundred thousand, then seven hundred fifty thousand, and then a million. I'm telling y'all right now. I would imagine a million is probably some type of third degree felony. <laughs> something. I'm not no lawyer. Obviously, y'all don't know how these things work. But um, uh, but that, that's just me. Great video though. I mean, honestly, you know. But I, I just, I just, I honestly believe she's lying, and I believe, uh, I believe the father. I don't know. Maybe I'll think differently, man. I want y'all to comment down below.
Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit the subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit the bell, so I can send me an upload. Notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that share. I look forward to reading all your comments, if any. So, until next time, please, man, have a safe